I will uh, call to order the 79th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Good to see all of you. Welcome for those who are joining us uh, via the web. Um, and we have a busy open session agenda. Let's just get right to it. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, let me remind you that we're video casting the open session of the council meeting. It will also be archived, uh, and through the NHGRI Council webpage, you can access archived uh, council meetings going back to uh, 2011. So um, we have a new set of council members to introduce. Uh, let's get right to that. Uh, Dr. Jeffrey Botkin. Jeff is a professor and chair of the Division of Medical Ethics and Humanities in the Department of Internal Medicine at the University of Utah. He is also the Vice President for Research Integrity at Utah. Jeff is a Fellow of the American Academy of Pediatrics and a diplomat of the American Board of Pediatrics. Jeff has served on more prominent national advisory committees than any God-fearing soul should be subjected to, and I'm going to cherry pick a few of them here. Uh, he was a member of the uh, Institute of Medicine's Consensus Committee on Ethical and Social Policy Aspects of Mitochondrial Replacement Therapy. That was in 2015. He chaired the Secretary's Advisory Committee on Human Research Protections in 2012. He chaired the NIH Working Group for Human Embryonic Stem Cell Eligibility Review in 2009. And he currently serves as a member of the Standing Committee on Ethics for the Canadian Institute of Health Research. Jeff has served on the editorial boards of the American Journal of Med Medical Genetics and for the journal Clinical Pediatrics, and he has served as a reviewer for over 25 scientific and medical journals. He served on more than 25 NIH peer review panels, including two years as chair of the LC Standing Study Section, run out of the Center for Scientific Review, and he's chaired a couple of special emphasis panels for me. That makes him special in my book. Welcome, Jeff. Sure, why not? Dr. Jonathan Haynes. Jonathan is professor and chair of the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics at Case Western Reserve University in the School of Medicine. He is also an, has an adjunct professorship in the Department of Quantitative Health Sciences and the Genomic Medicine Institute of the Lerner Research Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. Jonathan serves on multiple advisory boards, including the Board of Directors for the National Organization for Rare Disorders, the Advisory Board for the National Prion Disease Pathology Surveillance Center. He is a member of the NIH Multi-Council Working Group for BD2K, and he's a former member of the National Advisory Eye Council. Jonathan has served on the editorial boards for the, the following journals, Genomics, Current Protocols in Human Genetics, Human Heredity, Annals, Annals of Human Genetics, Neurogenetics, and Human Molecular Genetics. He's also served on over 40 NIH peer review panels, including a couple of special emphasis panels for me. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, he has served on, as a reviewer for countless private foundations and the Canadian Research Council and funding agencies in Denmark, Scotland, and the UK. Welcome, Jonathan. Uh, sorry. Sharon Plon. Dr. Plon is professor <clears throat> in the Department of Pediatrics and Hematology Oncology and the Department of Molecular and Human Genetics at the Baylor College of Medicine. Sharon holds multiple academic and clinical appointments, including the Graduate Program in Molecular and Human Genetics at Baylor, <clears throat> excuse me, the Graduate Program in Integrated Molecular and Biological Sciences. She is the chief of the Texas Children's Cancer Genetics Clinic at the Texas Children's Hospital, and she is chief of the Vanny E. Cook Cancer Genetics Clinic at Baylor. And she is the director of the Medical Science Scientist Training Program, MSTP. Sharon is board certified in clinical medical genetics and a diplomat from the National Board of Medical Examiners. She's on the editorial board for multiple scientific journals, including Cancer Genetics, Genome Biology, Genome Research, and the American Journal of Human Genetics. She has served on the review, pan on review panels for dozens of private funding sources or federal agencies, including 35 NIH peer review panels and four years as a member of the Training Workforce Development Study Section for NIGMS. That's the study section that manages or rather reviews the uh, T32 um, uh, institutional training grants for GM. 
Sharon is also has an amazing record of service to multiple advisory groups and steering committees in Texas and for NIH research activities as well. Welcome, Sharon. Hey, hey Rudy, I usually don't interrupt you, but um, I did just get an email. This may be the first time this has ever happened, but I just got an email that um, a program director and multiple council members, Trey, Shanita, Carol, Gail, and also Vivian Benazzi, are all stuck in an elevator. <laughs> and that's why they're not here. We should probably just proceed without them, but okay. this is the first time, I think, in Institute history we've lost council members during a council meeting because of an elevator mishap. Hopefully we will see them before the end of the open session, but... Well, and I had skipped Trey's name because he's also to be introduced. Yes, don't so. introduce Trey until he gets here. Uh, All right, well... Uh, we're in uncharted territory here, aren't right. we? Right, let's, let's move on and we'll okay. come back. We'll have a placeholder for Trey. Oh, and we should all use the stairs in the future. Yes, <laughs> for, for, those, for the... Well, you only have to go like one flight up. It might be worth taking the stairs for now on. Okay, let there me... There are no uh, stairs? Is that true? We do okay. have stairs. Uh, let me introduce our uh, council liaison members that are here with us today. Joe McInerney from the American Society of Human Genetics, uh, Rhonda Schonberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors, and Judith Beckendorf from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics. Thank you all for being with us today in person. So we have some new hires at NHGRI, and it's our usual practice to introduce those people. Uh, when I call your name, would you please stand so the council members can see you? Annalise Galzinski. Annalise is a grant specialist and she joined NHGRI in October of last year. Uh, she comes to us from the Allergy and Infectious Disease Grants Management Program where she worked as a grants management specialist since 2010. Prior to working as a grant specialist, she served as an administrative officer with AID um, and uh, in the Division of Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Annalise also served in administrative positions with NIH at NCI and the Office of Finance Management and the Office of Education. She's been at NIH since 1991. Thank you, Annalise. Jim Keyes. Jim is a program analyst in the Grants Administration Branch at NHGRI. This is his second week on the job, and he's going to end up wearing many hats. One of them will be as a coordinator. Uh, we freed the captives from the elevator. Hi, uh, welcome back. By, by, by the way, I just emailed uh, Lucia asking if you could please stream the open session while on the elevator so you would stay up. I didn't want you to get behind on council proceedings, but unnecessary to do. Uh, one of the things that uh, Jim is going to be tasked with is uh, coordinating activities for the council, so you're going to be seeing much more of him in the future meetings. Uh, Jim is new to the government. His background has been in the telecommunications industry. He served as a network engineer and data analyst for a number of for numbers administration divisions at Sprint, Nextel, and Ericsson USA for the past 16 years. Thank you, Jim. Jeff Kim. Jeff uh, joined NHGRI in October of 2016. He works as a program analyst in the Division of Extramural Operations, devotes most of his time to managing and reviewing data access requests that are submitted from extramural investigators to NIH. He also provides support to the uh, review branch. Jeff graduated from Vassar College in 2016 with a degree in biology. His undergraduate uh, research work included a bioinformatics study of the p53 gene in elephants. Thank you, Jeff. Chris Nee. Chris joined NHGRI last summer as the deputy budget officer. Chris has been with NIH since 2011 most recently serving as the Deputy Budget Officer and Acting Budget Officer for the National Eye Institute. He's also a certified public accountant with a master's degree in business administration from George Mason, and he has a bachelor's degree in business administration from James Madison University. Thank you, Chris. And Jill Saleta. This is Jill's first day at NHGRI, so let's be nice to Jill because we want her coming back tomorrow for work as well. So Jill comes to us, uh, Jill is a grants management specialist. She comes to us from allergy and infectious disease. She worked as a specialist there since 2014. Prior to joining NIH, Jill worked for the DC Department of Employment Services as a supervisory program manager. Jill has also worked as a finance analyst and a program coordinator and finance assistant for the World Bank Group. Thank you, Jill. Returning to our council members. 
Dr. Trey Eideker. Trey is professor in the Department of Bioengineering at the University of California, San Diego, and a member of the Morris Cancer Center at UC San Diego. Trey is an elected fellow of the American Institute for Medical and Bio Biological Engineering and an elected fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences. In 2009, he was awarded the Overton Prize from the International Society for Computational Biology. This prize recognizes outstanding accomplishment for early and mid-career scientists. Uh, I should point out that we also have the 2008 Overton Prize winner, Aviv Regev. We're cornering the market on that. Trey has been on the editorial board of multiple scientific journals, including Bioinformatics, Cell, Floss Computational Biology, Cell Reports, DNA Repair, and Molecular Systems Biology. He serves as a consultant on advisory board or an advisory board member for multiple companies, including Pfizer, Monsanto, Monsanto, Mendel Biotechnology, Metabolon Incorporated, and Idea Bioscience. Trey has served on over 20 NIH peer review panels, including a four-year term as a member of the Biodata Management and Analysis, or BDMA, working, uh, study section for the Center of Scientific Review. Welcome, Trey. Okay, uh, we have one uh, visitor, and that is uh, Joy Nathan from Vitan Associates Incorporated. And uh, next, we uh, let me draw to your attention the future meeting dates for council meetings. Please have a look at those, and if you see any, uh, sh share this with your scheduler. If you see any conflicts, please contact me, and more importantly, uh, Comfort Brown. Um, I need your approval of the council minutes from the September council meeting. Are there any corrections or additions to the minutes? Okay. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the perfect council minutes? And a second? All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Dan, I miss you already. No. <laughs> okay. Um, I yield the floor to Eric for the director's report. 